Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Maddie and today we are going to be talking about self-harm excuses. I've done loads of advice videos on various topics to do with self-harm and as much as I advocate people being honest about their scars and you know not hiding them away I know that it is super 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 difficult. One of the hardest things if you are self-harming or if you're in recovery is people pointing out your scars for a very very long time time I um, dressed to hide my scars away. I was ashamed of them. I didn't want to show them to anyone. But over the years, I have learned to love them and I've definitely grown more confident of them. But I just feel like, especially as it's summer right now, people are going to be more on show. They're going to feel more self-conscious about their scars and there are going to be people that are asking questions. So I just wanted to prepare you guys for these questions because I know it can be quite nerve-wracking when like a new person or a friend or even someone you don't don't know asks you about your scars like I want you to have a kind of bank of responses in the back of your mind that you can kind of dip into and just know exactly what to say instead of being like frozen on the spot I think in general when it comes to asking people about their self-harm scars people are either naive they are inquisitive or they're just rude <laughs> But I think it's important to mention that the delivery of what you're saying is super, super important. I think it's really, really good to just act chill and cool about it and, you know, not make it into a big deal. And then the other person will kind of follow suit and be like, oh, okay, like, cool. Instead of, like, making it into a big deal. And I feel like when you're prepared, you're more able to be chill and calm and cool about it. So I'm going to give you excuses for every single eventuality. I am going to try and cover all bases here. I'm going to give you um, excuses for any situation that you find yourself in. I'm going to split them up into different categories because obviously like you can give sarcastic responses but equally like it's quite nice to have some you know more serious responses. So here we go. Here are my self-harm excuses. Number one and I think this is the most common one. Animal scratches. My cat scratched me. I've learned never to pet an angry cat. I got into a play fight with my dog. Number two. I I was born with it, this is just a birthmark. I fell into a bush. <laughs> I ran into some barbed wire. I got into a fight with a tiger. I got into a fight with a lion. I got into a fight with the dragon that was holding me captive for 10 years. I had sex with Edward Scissorhands. I was climbing a tree. I was climbing a tree and I fell. I was in an accident. A demon took over me and I had to be exercised. I have a cactus farm. I could tell you but then I'd have to kill you. I was in a duel with Lord Voldemort. I hugged a porcupine. Okay, so next up, something I feel is really important to point out is that you should not feel obliged to even respond or even like tell the person. If you don't feel comfortable telling them, you shouldn't need to. It is perfectly acceptable to say something like, I'd rather not talk about it, or it's a long story, but now isn't the time to tell it. The next option is to give a brief, honest answer and then just completely change the subject after. So this could be, I used to take my emotions out on myself. I went through a tough, time. I used to have a hard time dealing with my emotions. I used to struggle with self-harm. I used to have a hard time in school. I used to cut myself but I'm doing much better now. I struggle with self-harm. The next thing that I wanted to cover is if children ask. So a lot of the time when children ask they're not gonna know what self-harm is or quite understand it. So I feel like maybe you could give them one of the sarcastic responses, um, say something like, I was captured by <sighs> pirates, or just say something like, I was in an accident, or it happened when I was unwell, or I was really sad for a while and this is how I dealt with it. And then the final category, we have some responses for someone who is not only rude when they're asking you questions, but they are just persistent and they won't stop asking you. <laughs> Or what happened to your arm? So when someone says, what happened to your arm? What happened to your manners? That is for me to know and for you to never find out. Why don't you be a little less concerned about my arm and a little more concerned about global warming? What's that on your arm? 
what's that on your face? So I really, really hope that this video has helped you and reassured you. I promise you that there are so, so many people in your position, but please do not let people stop you from being brave and showing yourself harm scars. The more we talk about this, the more we show our scars, the more we show we are not ashamed and that we're confident with our scars, the more this narrative that self-harm scars are something to be hidden away is gonna shift. It's not our job to educate people. We do not have to grace them with our knowledge, but a lot of people are willing to learn. So if you wanted to take this opportunity to have a further conversation, then you could. If you wanna just give a blunt response and that be the end of that, that's fine. If you wanna be sarcastic with it, then that is fine. Literally, it's your body, they're your scars, so it is up to you. Please do let me know in the comments if these responses do help you. I am sending love to all of you who are going through a really tough time right now. I promise you it will get better. Like I said, I also have multiple other videos on self-harm, so I will link them in the description below for you. Uh, but yeah, I just really hope that this has helped some of you. So I will see you all on Thursday for a new video, and until then, goodbye!